all right guys so i'm back with another video man uh really what i want to talk about this video is body game and ego like understanding ego so the first thing is dealing with male ego and understanding it is dangerous this goes for all groups of people and it's it's saying that uh basically what you got to understand is that all men have a respect level that must be upheld or obtained and if not is certain things that will happen to you if you are the author of that frustration for that man and it's just that a lot of times people step on your toes people don't understand how seriously or how serious you are about certain topics or how serious you are about your families how serious you are about your kids man as men it's like really like an unspoken language of how we interact with each other but a lot of women a lot of men just don't understand that when it comes to the male ego, blood can be shed. Things can be torn down. Th men will destroy anything that is path when you cross those certain boundaries, man. It's just like you have to understand. First things first, I want, I want you to have to understand what type of man you are dealing with. This is important. This is a this is a guy. I mean, this is a uh, pretty much this is a uh, experience or this is a uh, understanding of like when I was working in a warehouse, it was just like people will crash out or people would try to unalive you at work you know what i'm saying it's like we would be driving machines and everything like that and men will literally uh i can't tell you everything that i know but it's just like men will literally you know forklift literally speed right to you and take your life you know what i mean it's just like you may see it as a big deal to when it's an issue but you don't understand the conversation that led up to that man this is like i want you guys to understand that men crash out you know what I'm saying that's just kind of like how we're bred to be especially if you're dealing with different levels of masculinity different levels of power and it's always a power in money it's power and strength and it's power in um in women so it's like you have guys who have like a lot of money you have guys who have a lot of strength you have a lot of guys who have um uh a lot of women i think i said women money strength whatever like that so you have to understand what level that guy is at some men have all three you know what i'm saying it's not uncommon for that to happen but what you have to understand is you need to understand when you're dealing with a masculine man or you're dealing with a man you need to understand what's closest to his heart because whatever is closest to his heart a lot of times people are willing to go to any way in your imagine to solve that problem you know what i'm saying if you trigger a person too hard or if you tell even with jokes people comedians deal with this all the time if you trigger a person to point to the point where they're embarrassed bro people lose their lives for this bro and it's just like you know i, I know a class clown i know people like to have jokes i like people like to play but it's like you have to understand when you're dealing with men bro you can't play with everybody you can't say everything to everybody. You can't hit everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that you have to uphold a certain level of respect when you're dealing with a person because first, you don't know what that person has been through. Like, you don't know what sentencing they had. You don't know how angry, upset they get, who they fought, who they, you know what I'm saying? Just, you just don't know when, when you're dealing with men, you don't know a man's past just by looking at him. And that's what I want you guys to understand is like a lot of my young guys or even a lot of my old guys, you assume this because you're older or you're younger that you get a pass, bro. And what man is not like that. If it's a value that he specifically values or he specifically is, you know what I'm saying, will crash out over, he will crash out over that mess. You know what I'm saying? He will do what it takes to solve that problem, solve that issue or trigger, you know what I'm saying, hurt that person who's hurting him. And it's just like, I, I learned that in the warehouse, man, because it was just like, it was just so much anger. You know what I'm saying? It was just so much, so many men everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of testosterone. It was a lot of fights, a lot of everything. And it was just like, bro, wow. Like, you just didn't really understand like how serious somebody was until it was like the aftermath. Till you saw like blood or you saw, you know what I'm saying, arguments or you saw people losing their jobs or you saw people feeling threatened you know what i mean this is like you never want to threaten somebody intentionally and you don't want to push somebody over the edge intentionally just because you feel like it and it's like it may be funny at the time but you just never as a man you just never know what that man is going through and you never know how that man is going to react bro like it's it's just uh it's the craziest thing that all men we we kind of understand subconsciously just for safety like 
You know what I'm saying? But man, you have to understand what the time the times are now. People are crashing out, bro. It's like people like uh you know breaking cars and stuff like that, and they're willing to shoot you for stopping them from getting the car that you have that you work for, bro. And it's just like, bro, you have to understand not every battle is a war. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to start a war over off of every battle, bro. And it's just like, I want you guys to understand that when you are dealing with men, you're dealing with like body game and everything like that. Do not assume, you know, that person will crash out of over, you know what I'm saying? Do not assume, you know, what those part that man's triggers are because you don't know them just by looking at bro. You don't know, bro. And I, I just want you guys to understand it because I don't, I would hate for anything to happen to you guys just based off of your ignorance or based off of you feeling like you have more power over another man, bro. You just never know who that man knows. You never know what that man will do. And you never know what that man has been through, bro. So it's just like, please be careful on that. I just want you guys to understand that this is a video that I want my guys to understand because this is not something that everybody's going to tell you. And it's a lot of times that people see me included, included until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? You see things and it's just like you can't come back from it and you understand that. And it's just like it's nothing you can do about it. And, uh, you know, what I'm saying? you just kind of keep it personal. You kind of understand it. But just understand that, man, you never know what somebody's willing to crash out over. And you never know how far somebody's willing to take something, bro. So it's like, bro, just don't don't put yourself in harm's way because you're trying to be a jokester. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't put yourself in harm's way because you're trying to impress somebody. Because you might that might be your last time trying to impress somebody. That's all I gotta say, really. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to tell you guys that because it's not talked about and it's a definitely an important topic, just so you will safe and you don't have any issues. But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. Just don't trigger. <laughs> Please don't trigger folks out here. Don't trigger men out here, man. And you just never know what somebody has been through. So that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more body game content. More body game content. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. <laughs>